I'm Alex Figueredo. I am an adoption coordinator. We want to make sure the right cat's going to want the right person. We don't want to take a cat and give it to a home that's going to, you know, um, potentially take not take care of it and things of that nature. So that's my job. As soon as I get in, I'm going to go pet the animals and see how they, they're, they're doing everything just to make sure that they're, you know, okay. Once upon a time, there was a lady named Sister Seraphin. And she had an idea in like 1960, I think. She wanted to, she loved animals and she wanted to help them any way she possibly can. So she brought this property in 1964. We had animals of any nature, little lizards. I mean, I didn't think lizards needed helping, but I guess they, to her they did. Um, horses, donkeys, anything like that. That's how we started up. Well, most of the time we get them from Pima Animal Care Center or the Humane Society. Sometimes we can get them from, you know, owner releases and things of that nature, but that's, and we also get them from continuing cat care. When people, someone goes into hospice, we can take a cat that way as well. Well, obviously, we are a no-cage shelter, and we have off, you know, outside patios and enclosed patios so they can get out and they can feel happy. I mean, what, what other shelter do you know that is a, is a no-cage shelter, you know, that has 8,000 square feet? They're separated, obviously, general population, which would be, like, the main house, um, where they're just totally, completely healthy kitties, um, anywhere from, you know, kittens up to adults. Um, we have geriatrics here, um, which is senior citizens and then GI, which is gastrointestinal. Those guys actually would never be adopted out, but we, we actually, you know, come and hang out with them every day so they can be, you know, actually ex feel accepted, I guess. So that helps get, you know, special needs kitties out of the shelter. Um, they can get involved in a few different ways. They can obviously volunteer. They can come in and they can socialize cats, basically, you know, come around and just pet the cats, hang out with them. Well, for a volunteer here, a typical day is when they get in here, they basically go in, they sign in, they see what needs to be done. They're going to do litter boxes. They're going to, you know, do daily needs that we honestly wouldn't be able to do it by ourselves, such as laundry, um, feeding all the animals, flipping the water bowls, things of that nature. I come here, I'm down in the dumps, I leave, you know, feeling good because I help somebody, so.